Since the beginning of time, there's always weapons in Ipixel Skyblock, and people want to know which deals the most damage, so they can hit mobs and kill them quicker. And those weapons have changed throughout history. Originally, the Aspect of the End, or the Ember Rod, was the best, and now that's evolved and evolved and evolved into Hyperions, and potentially even better and better weapons. However, as times are constantly changing, I'm going to be going over the current, one of the current best mid-game weapons that you can buy that costs around 20 million coins, and is potentially better, if not guaranteed, better than the Livid Dagger. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please consider subscribing, it would truly mean the world to me. And, without further ado, one of the most renowned weapons in the game, besides Hyperion and Terminator, is the Livid Dagger. It is all around a absolutely fantastic mid-game weapon. It has a bunch of abilities, such as having high damage, high strength, giving you 100% crit chance, giving you 100% crit damage, and giving you bonus attack speed in addition to dealing double damage on backs. It has a bunch of utility, it is so, so good. However, is there weapons that for the same cost are better? I'm going to be going over to see if there actually is, and if so, what is the weapon that is better than the Livid Dagger. First, let's start off by comparing and looking at prices for Livid Dagger. Now, mine is maxed out as one for all, all that juicy stuff. And one for all weapons do still do deal more damage than non one for all weapons. However, they might become yet less and less useful. Currently, if we search up Livid Dagger, we can see that the mostly recon Livid Dagger is going for 12 million coins. And the cheapest one for all five star Livid Dagger is going for around 16 million coins. Which is pretty cheap considering this weapon can carry you to Hyperion. However, is there a weapon that's better? I'm going to be going over a weapon that is the Reaper Scythe. Now, Reaper Scythe, you're probably like, what? That item's just useful, useful for summoning weapons. However, along with that, it has a lot of damage and a lot of strength, making it an optimal weapon for the One for All. One for All, what it does is it boosts the damage of a weapon by quite a lot. It recently got nerfed, but One for All weapons deal more damage than non-One for All weapons, I'm going to be comparing both of these with an optimized setup to tell you which is the best, but first let's just do a base out damage test. I'm using 3 Force Necron, for all these tests I'm using 3 Force Necron and a level 100 Lion. First let's start out with the Livid Dagger. Livid Dagger front hit is able to get around 220 to 230,000 damage. 220, 230, it's pretty consistent about how much damage it can get. With back hits dealing double damage, get probably going to get us around 460,000 coins. As we can see, it can be a little bit of a pain though. 450,000 damage. Now let's compare Reaper Scythe. Reaper Scythe is able to do almost 300,000 damage consistently per hit, around 60,000 more damage than the Livid Dagger. So it deals quite a lot more damage. So no matter what setup you're using, Reaper Scythe is better. Now let's compare the cost. So we already went over the Reaper or the Livid Dagger. Costs around 15 to 18 million coins for a one for a one. Now we search a Reaper Scythe, we can see the Reaper Scythe, the legendary one, is going to be going for, looks like around 20 million coins, around 20 million coins. If you want it recommed, it's going to be 20 million coins as well, I don't know why I didn't buy one of those recommed, but hey. Now let's go over the actual abilities. Liver Dagger does double damage back hit, which is obviously so incredibly good, it lets you deal massive amounts of damage. However, Reaper Scythe has a super, super unique ability as well. It lets you summon in mobs. Now, mobs have a bunch of different uses, such as tanking. They're used for tanking for Void Gloom Seraphs. And certain mobs deal a bunch of damage. Now, they also cost a lot of mana. So, in my opinion, the actual abilities of both the weapons are fairly even. Doubling your damage on the back. You're not going to be able to consistently get back hits. Probably, in my experience, one every five, maybe one in every ten hits, you're going to be able to get a back hit. But with some of the mobs, you're able to do consistently 250,000 plus more damage. Now, admin souls are very expensive to summon outside of dungeons. So now, let's go into optimized setups for both weapons to see which is the best with optimized setups. Alright, so starting out with the Reaper Scythe. Now, keep in mind, I have optimized setups for both these, and I'm going to be doing a test, and then I'm going to be comparing them against an actual train dummy to see how long it takes to kill with back hits and all that good stuff. So... As we can see, we have 100% attack speed. I have my Talisman's Reforge, Reforge on Epic and on Common to Strange, which gives me the attack speed. So we hit him on, we're able to get 237,000 damage every single hit. It's withered to its consistent. If you swap back to the Liver Dagger, we can see a front hit with Liver Dagger is able to do 225,000 damage. However, this is not with optimized setup towards Liver Dagger. 
However, even with an optimized setup, not for damage at all, like, Livid Dagger is still consistently dealing around 50,000 to 60,000 less damage per hit than the Livid Dagger. Alright, so I completely reset all my stuff. As we can see, I have bonus attack speed of currently 5. So I don't have anything reforged, I don't have anything for attack speed. My talismans, you can see, they're all unshaded or strong for every single talisman, so completely max out for damage. And if you put on our lion pet, we are now doing, it looks like, 294,000 damage with the Reaper Scythe. So about 20,000 more damage just before doing talismans. So 294,000 damage with that and Livid Dagger if we hit, we're doing 220,000 damage still. Anywhere it looks like from 220 to 230, that was a back hit. So 220 to 230 instead of the usual... Instead of the 220. So increased by 20,000 damage on each side. Even with Optimized Setups for both, we have the Reaper Scythe able to clock in more damage every single hit. It's able to do around 30,000 damage with Optimized Setup for both, and they both have 100% attack speed. So it is still good. With no abilities including whatsoever, because having the ability to summon in mobs is so so nice and lets them tank for you because depending on what you use they're both pretty equal if you're able to summon an a admin so that's 250 extra thousand damage per hit and the back hit obviously occasionally you're gonna be able to do double damage so in my opinion those abilities are around even there's a lot more people using the reaper scythe for its ability than the liver dagger solely for its ability so abilities in my opinion about even if you disagree that's 100 your opinion but i think be able to summon mobs that tank you and can deal up to 300 000 damage per hit is super strong almost even stronger if if not equal to dealing double damage on back hits all right if you guys enjoyed today's video please consider subscribing and treating the world to me see you guys next one peace out